Last week, we told you about the new iOS update for the iPhone. Well, today, we are delving into the iPad. Tech expert Francie Black is here to tell us about the productivity boost. Welcome. Thank you. You Thank said you. this is complicated. <laughs> well, there's a lot. You know, there's so many new features, and there's some that are very specific for iPad that you don't see in the iPhone, so that's what we're going to dive into today. And it okay. is focused on productivity to really help you get the most out of these devices. So, all right, so let's dive in. All right, so the first thing, there's some obvious things and some not so obvious things. The first thing that you're going to notice when you update to iOS 11 on your iPad is the new dock, okay? And on the left-hand side of this dock, which you can access this from any app, okay, is that on the left-hand side are things that you use um, frequently, okay? And then on the right-hand side are things that you have just used. So your recents and then your favorites okay. over here. And then if there's something you want to add, you can tap on it and then just slide it. Oops, try that again. There you go. Slide it in and add it to it or slide it out to get rid of it if okay. you want to. Now, what's great about that, I'm going to go into Pages, which is on anybody's um, iPad. And um, if you slide up from the bottom, then you have access to that dock to get to those recents and so forth. So if you're multitasking, you can move between your apps very quickly and easily. Um, the next thing that you're going to notice on that dock is you also have the new Files app. It actually looks like a folder. <laughs> that's on the I, a phone, too. <laughs> yes, yeah. And so the Files app, if you tap on this, what it will do is it will actually show you recent files from other sources, not just on iCloud Drive, but also Dropbox, Box, and other apps. It gives you a central point to quickly access those files. And there's a little shortcut here if you tap and hold, okay? You'll also get a little pop-up menu that you can access those okay. files very quickly. So that's just a couple of quick, obvious things. Now, the real power comes on the iPad with the multitasking and drag and drop. Watch this. Okay, we're going to go into Pages, which again, everybody has. This is a template um, for a school program. I'm going to swipe up from the bottom to bring up my dock, and I'm going to go to Safari, and I'm going to tap and hold, and I'm going to multitask. I'm going to bring it out here. Okay, so I've got Safari up, and we're going to turn this into a chili cook-off flyer. Okay? So I've already done pictures of chili recipes, and we're going to borrow some of these pictures. So watch this drag and drop. So we're multitasking, and I'm going to drag that. I'm tapping, holding, and I'm just going to pull it over here, and I've filled it in. I'm going to grab the next one, and I'm going to look fill it easy. in, and look how easy this. Now, you can do this between mail. You can do it between messages. And photos, I'm guessing. Photos, and so you can just move between these, and now you have this new beautiful flyer that you can instantly send out, share it, whatever you need to do, or print it. Okay. So really cool. So drag and drop. Now, the last thing that I'm going to show you, um, hopefully this will go well, okay? I'm going to go into the Notes app here on my iPad, okay? I have a new note. Now, I'm going to go to my, I switch to my iPhone for a second. This is called the Universal Clipboard. I'm going to tap and hold on my phone, okay? And I'm going to say copy, okay? I'm going to switch to my iPad, okay? And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to tap and hold. And I'm going to say paste and watch the message we get. This is actually pasting oh, from wow, from my iPhone and that's called the Universal Clipboard and it sent that picture from my phone. That's super handy. Is that amazing? So there's no transferring, downloading, updating, any of that. So it's all focused on massive productivity, switching, drag and drop, lots that you can do. If you want the information by email, shoot me um, a message at info at ipadwisdom.com and I'll shoot out today's article with all those tips on it. Okay, remember you can also find all the information in the Tech Time section of WLOS.com and you may be teaching some classes pretty soon. Yeah, too. I am looking at doing some classes. I've done this in the past and this is so packed full of information that I've thought about doing that. So if you want to get notified of those, it'll probably be about three or four weeks before I do that, shoot me an email, info at ipadwisdom.com.